to my YouTube channel. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to show you my route where I take my uh, daily walk. Well, I change routes every day. But this is one of my favorite place to uh, go for a walk and then just enjoy the uh, beauty of the water. It's really nice. I really love it. So come along with me guys and enjoy this view. Good morning guys. Good morning, good morning. Hello, look what I have here. It's so nice. So I'm doing my walk this morning and I came back and visited this place because um, we used to stay in that hotel, Alopang. And uh, look at the water, guys. It's so calm. And uh, I just love it here. It's so quiet. Well, I guess it's still quiet because uh, they don't have the tourists yet. But I think once the tourist comes back, it's going to get busy. So might as well enjoy it right now while I can. Let's see how nice that is. So where you see the um, white spot is the coral reef. Basically, any big waves will be cut off from there. So this water remains calm here. So a lot of people comes comes this way to do paddle boating like early in the morning because the water is really, really nice. And then they have an area here where they do the jet ski. Uh, the jet ski would take you all the way to Lover's Point. But it's a bit costly because it cost like a hundred bucks for one hour but look at that I'm going to paint this one because it's really really nice so I might do it like this landscape include the bushes in there with the flowers that would be a beautiful painting and share a ton so people take a walk on the seaside and just I used to do this enjoying my morning walk right here on the beach I can stay here all day oh that's a nice glare One thing that I appreciate about Guam is they have all these wildflowers. They're everywhere. I mean, this um, plumeria, it can survive in a sandy beach. Look at that. <laughs> it's really nice. They're everywhere, guys. And imagine that. Look at that. These are wild I call it flowers because they do give such a beautiful purple flowers right now uh, they're still closed I don't know what time these uh, flowers will be opening and I don't know what kind they are but they are beautiful and then even the ipil ipil see that I mean it survived right there and that Oh, I saw fish in the water. <laughs> Definitely gonna come back here for a snorkel. I wanna do snorkeling here because it's really beautiful, guys. And I wanna go to that right there. But I need hobby with me because I'm not that brave to go there. 
<laughs> if I go by myself, I I tend to like just stay on the area that is not too deep. But if hubby is around, then I definitely go deeper with him. So look at that. I mean, that's it's like a little island, but filled with um, bushes and trees. Isn't that gorgeous? It's really nice. So normally, on the side of the rocks, there's plenty of fishes. So. I can attest to that because the first time I went snor snorkeling, um, I've seen lots of fishes on the side of the rocks. That's where they congregate. So definitely, definitely want to explore that area. And um, yeah, it's such a beautiful place. That's a beauty right there to paint. Uh, let me take that one. I like the one with the bushes and just maybe add a little bit of flowers like that. Because that's really nice. It is. And then there's, there's a spot right here where um, you can take pictorials. There's a lot of people that comes this way and then really enjoy that swing. Kind of unique. They put that swing right there in the middle of the water. And you have a beautiful background behind the swing. Because it's an open area where there's like little islands. So it's really a beautiful pictorial. You see that one? That's the swing right there. So, another thing that I love is look at those trees. See? So basically, you come and swim with your family or have a picnic. The shades are available for you. You really don't need to uh, set up your umbre umbrellas or a tent like that because um, shades are being provided by these trees. The, you know, they're, they're beautiful. Um, other beaches, they have lots of coconut trees, you know, right before, like on the shore side, on the seaside, like that. So, look at that. And there's even like lilies right here and breadfruits are invasive in this island guys they have tons of breadfruits anywhere you go uh, you see them and mangoes oh, that's a beautiful landscape to paint i think something like this with a blue chair but I love painting landscape guys not so much with buildings or um, uh, faces like that I love silhouette or like shadow like that but this one can be done like that far and with some bush as a background Oh, that is nice. Let me take this picture. Yeah, because I'm gonna paint this like this one. Paint it. And this one. That's. I like that. And there's a mangrove over there. When I was a kid, I used to love exploring mangrove area. Well, in Philippines, mangrove has a lot of, what do you call that, nipa? And those nipa has fruits. And I'm telling you, I love eating the fruits. They are delicious. I normally stay in the mangrove all day and I forage 
get my food and they have also the little uh, oyster those little oysters guys are very delicious and I didn't know that I was eating uh, nutritious food <laughs> and then if me and my friends will be hanging out in the ocean like because I grow up I grew up near the oceans and uh, people in my village you know like the kids we would talk like um, let's go to the beach you know and we will stay there and uh, basically we don't bring food we just forage seaweeds like that we eat those seaweeds not knowing it's very healthy as well and um, yeah we just enjoy swimming all day all day and if it's um, um, if, if the water is rough and there's plenty of waves oh, we find ways also to enjoy the waves we I don't know what they call it nowadays they call it surfing but we don't stand on the board uh, we, we just you know glide with the board along with the waves <laughs> but our, our, our board is a homemade like a piece of wood that is like flat like that <laughs> and it's really nice I had I had fun growing up uh, foraging fruits foraging uh, like uh, food in the mangroves it's fun and then we sometimes go and visit like places where there's a bridge and we jump off the bridge because underneath is like beautiful um, water. And um, <laughs> one time I jump off the bridge. My friends jump off the middle of the bridge. Of course, the water is deep. And I was trying to play it safe. So I decided to jump off the bridge, you know, near the, the, the side. And I made a mistake doing that because um, my head got buried underneath the sand. I thought that day oh, I'm gonna die, but I was like, I was like a, um, <laughs> I don't know, my legs. I was like upside down, and I was waving my legs to try to get off, get off from the. Uh, sand because my head was like buried almost all the way down. I saw fishes jumping right there. There's a stray dog again. So that's why I carry my stick. Yeah, there are fishes here.